this square that's created from the sampler Afghans book is demonstrating the Trinity stitch. And it's called Trinity Stitch because you're making these little nobbles using a combination of three stitches in two ways. So it's either a purl three together or a knit purl knit all in one stitch. And that's the three stitches that are joined together in two combinations to create the repeat pattern. When you want to start this line of the Trinity Stitch, it says that you need to knit five at the edge and that's to create this nice border. You want to make sure you don't increase every time you start this, um, this line. Um, so you want to make sure that your yarn is in the correct place and that means it's got to be in the back of the work. So when you put your stick in to be in the knit position, you need this yarn to be at the back because you don't want to loop over the top of a stick or else that increases your knitting every time. So it has to start out in the back of the work and loop over the back stick and that's your first knit. So you put the stick in the left side and it comes out the right side at the back, you loop over it, pull the loop through and pull it off. That's how you do the proper knitting for this and we have to do five of them. Now we have our five stitches, the pattern begins. The first thing we want to do is create this little edge which is called a slip one and you see what it does, it creates this little line of yarn that flattens out right here all along the piece. So slip one, you put the needle in purl ways and just slip it off from the left needle to the right needle. Then it says you have to knit one. So you knit normally and the yarn is in the back, never in the front. Now the pattern begins. The first thing we need to do is purl three together. But if we go like this and put the stick in the needles and purl three together without bringing the yarn from the back into the front. We now cross the yarn over the stick to create the stitch, adding another stitch. That is not what we want to do. So what you have to do when you purl three together is you have to make sure first, where does my yarn go? Has to be in the front for purl. Purl three together, where does the stick go? The stick always goes from right to left in front of the loop, but because we're purling three together, we have to put the stick through the front of the loop from right to left, across the front of all three stitches, penetrating all of them. Then you loop your yarn over and pull it through the stitches, then slide all three stitches off. That's your purl three together. Now the next stitch is knit, purl, knit. If we do knit, purl, knit all in one stitch right from the beginning without moving the yarn over to the back, we now cross over the stick again and that would create an extra stitch. So what we have to do is think of first, where does my yarn go? It needs to go in the back for the knit. Now we're doing knit, purl, knit and all in one stitch. So it's pulled one through knit ways. Do not pull the stitch off the left needle. Now we have to purl, so where does the yarn go? It goes in the front. Now we purl that same stitch. Now we have to knit. Notice I'm pulling the sticks apart because I'm asking myself, where do I have to put the yarn? It goes in the back for knit and I knit that same stitch. Now the knit purl knit is complete and I can pull that off. And that combination gives us three little bundles. And when we start doing the, the purl line on the back of the work, we will see how this all joins up. So the combination then is purl three together. Always ask, where's my yarn go? It goes in the front for purl. Purl three together. Knit, purl, knit, all in one stitch. Where does my yarn go? Knit, has to go in the back. Knit, pull them apart. Where does my yarn go? Purl, goes in the front. Purl, pull them apart. Where does my yarn go? For knit, goes in the back. Knit, and then pull it off.